Uh, okay. Good. Okay, guys, I just want to talk a little bit more about uh, playing golf abroad in a, a sunnier climate, definitely a warmer climate, different types of grass. My first video was about um, actually striking the ball and trying to learn which way the grain was. Striking your shot by using your practice swing. Now I want to talk a little bit about where the ball lands and how the grain affects the ball when it lands. Now, at home in England, we're used to landing the ball on the fringe and it's fine. Now, here in Florida, it, it's a little bit different and it's the same in Spain, Portugal. If, if there's some grain on the fringe, the ball's going to react very differently. Um, how can we deal with that? Well, it's a little bit of practice, trial and error to kind of figure it out, but there is some telltale signs and there is some sneaky ways that you can figure out which way the grain is. So I'm going to have a little bit, I'm going to walk up to the grain. So the grass here, you can see it's quite shiny. The grass is clearly going this way. If I do a little quick test, the grass definitely with me. If I land that ball on the on the on that fringe there, the ball's gonna shoot forward. It's gonna act quite similarly to at home. If it was the other way, that ball is gonna stop really quick. If there's any kind of spin on that ball, it's gonna hit and grab and probably finish about here. But because this grain's with me, it's gonna shoot on and roll. So I've done a little bit of investigating there, I've figured out what the grain's doing. Now I'm gonna play my shot from here. Now this shot I'm gonna use what we learned in the first video, I'm going to feel the grain. Now, this grass is very tough, so I'm going to hit down on it. I'm going to hit the ball, then the ground. So the ball position is going to come back slightly. I'm going to put more weight on my left. I've moved it back, maybe an inch back of sender, and I've got about 60% of my weight on my left. It landed on the fringe, and it shot forward. See, that's gone about 10 feet past. If that grain had been against, if I'd have hit that fringe there, that ball would have definitely been short of the pin. That's going to confuse you a little bit because you're not used to it. If you work a little bit harder on the course, do some investigating, I think you can improve. Okay, well done guys.